My name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below. It has no value to you, it's great value to me and the dogs I'm gonna be rescuing here in the near future. Let's get right into it. Okay, I'm just still going over our, this universal crypto strategy and uh, I really wanted to do a, a short video real quick as you can see uh, at the end of this candle right here and I'll kind of zoom into here. Uh, it's coming to the end of this candle and this candle is starting to pump very, very aggressively and I got about nine minutes left. I don't think you can see it on your screen but I got about nine minutes left and it's, it's very, very strong uh, green uh, just going over the 10 MA. So, uh, you know, let's go back in, in the past here. And you know, obviously, I made a trade here. I made a you know nice five dollar, four or five dollar um, profit on that. And uh, as I said, I wanted it to come down, and I wanted it to hit that blue line and see if it was going to bounce off and and start going back up, or was going to cross it, or was going to start going sideways. So we only have three options, right? So what happened? Third option, it went down. It broke the blue. It went under the red. It broke broke the blue one uh, one hundred ma stayed under the red and now it's starting to go sideways again and now you're getting a big pump uh so now the 100 ma is going to act as as a uh, major resistant point um again it's it's not flat flat but it's pretty darn flat at this point so it's going to be a strong support and resistant line um and, and as you can see on the fibonacci it is basically riding just underneath that halfway point so you know it's it's going to be a, a game changer if it breaks that blue and it breaks over that 50 line and it's just going to start going up and it's going to you know cause another pump it's going to be a quick pump or a long pump or you know keep going on its way up don't know but you know obviously these things have to correct um and then obviously if, if you want to look from the start of that big wave all the way up to the high point from the start point of this uh this little rally we had i guess for like a month now or so um it you know it's still way up here you know i i could trace this back down and it's probably on like the 618 between the 5 and 0 and the 618 if not higher so um you know keeping that in mind it, it's still in a good spot to ramp up more you know it's still definitely in a good spot um, but of course, you know, you had a little correction, you know, and everybody thinks, oh, you know, it's $30, $40 correction in Ethereum and that's, you know, $100 in Bitcoin. It's like, you know, what? that's nothing when it comes to a correction. I mean, you want to wait till it hits like 80, 90, 100 bucks on Ethereum correction and same thing with Bitcoin, thousands, 1500 uh, correction, 2000 correction. You know, now you're going to start getting worried on things. Um, but, you know, small corrections like this, it happens. It's got to. Um, it's just the way things work you know obviously when you're working with probabilities and scales and you know nothing's perfect and scientific and people are pulling money out and and big feet are coming in and big feet are coming out and so on. You, you can't control it but what you can do is you can put your probabilities on things and make your decisions more you're more confident in your decision making based on um you know doing it learning it from trial and error and and moving forward from there which most people do um, you know, in the market, unless they're being trained by some, you know, savvy market investor or trader, um, and you know, they give them all the ins and outs, which is what I'm really trying to do with you guys is trying to give you all the ins and outs, simplify your trading down to where it's really, really easy. Use the 10 MA, 100 MA or whatever MA you're using, but use the MAs, use your MACD, Fibonacci and the candle language. And again, Fibonacci is just kind of more of an accentuator. I mean, I think my candle language gives me just a little bit more percentage on my Fibonacci, but they're cousin numbers. They are cousin numbers, so they definitely do work. And as you can see, it's riding, riding between this one, 236 and the 318. So it's got room to grow over the 318, break the 100 MA, break the 50, and then I'll be a little bit more confident in its way and what direction it's working to. And as you can see, MACD, it's getting right there on a buy point, isn't it? So it's going to start going over a bit. And yeah, you know, like, you know, it could go up to possibly 257, 256 if this 10 MA comes down a little bit or it goes up. So, you know, you're talking, you know, 15 bucks right there, you know, I can get in and possibly do it. But, you know, like I said, I'm kind of waiting um, for more triggers, you know what I mean? To give me a better probability. And it's getting there. It's getting real close to my probabilities that I like. So, um, I could probably make a good, you know, I don't know, let's say five to 10, 15 profit, you know, right now, just riding it up to this line. 
um, and then going from there. So, you know, it just depends on what type of, you know, way you want to trade. But really, it's a universal crypto strategy. So you can basically trade it any way, which way you want, as long as you know the probabilities, uh, triggers are there for you and you're confident in your trading. So go ahead and play around with it. That's what I did. And that's I kind of, am, you know, if I feel confident and I feel safe in my uh, my trades, you know, starting out trades, then, then I do it. If I don't, then as simple as that, I don't do it. So again, I just wanted to get over, you know, go over it. I, I'm, you know, just wanted to show everybody, you know, we only have four minutes left on this candle. And I think, you know, when it hit like 12 minutes left, it was right there on the move on the 10 MA. And now it just pumped up, you know, so now it's doubled in, in size on this green bar here. So, um, you know, it's starting to look good. You know, it's good correction. You know, I, maybe I will get in and I'll let you guys know if I did or not. But at this point, I don't have cracking open. I don't have anything. I just saw this happening. Um, and I'm actually in Vegas, so I'm, I'm, I'm gambling uh, at nighttime right now, and I'm using pretty much a process um, that's really, really similar to what I'm trading. I'm pretty much playing poker that way, and I, you know, started out with 200 bucks last night. I made 100. There are two nights ago. Then last night I went in, started out with 200. I made 75. So, you know, fluctuates, but I'm in, I'm in the plus. You know, when it comes to that, based on probabilities and process and. Uh, position and leverage and so on. Same things we do in crypto and trading. And it's what I'm doing in Vegas uh, you know, when I'm playing poker, Texas Hold'em. So, um, you know, that's it for this one. But well, my name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below. It has no value to you, it has great value to me, and it dogs I'll be rescuing in the future. Hope these videos help you guys. Have a good day. Keep up the grind.